Welcome, I am John Lira. And in this demo, being part two, I will deploy an SQL data service. In part one, I created it. In part two, I will go ahead and first make an application and then deploy the application to an integration uh, service. And then I will use the Informatica admin console to monitor it. Why would I want to do this? Well, if you looked at part one of the demo, I created a SQL data service. I can use it already, but if I want to let third-party applications use it, I first have to deploy it. First, I got to create an application, and then I've got to deploy it so that, the, so that we can watch it through the administrator console and monitor it and then write third-party application access to it. So let's get started. On the left-hand side, what I have is already Informatica Developer already started. And if you review part one, you will, you will have noticed that we created a SQL data service called key, uh, cons Customer Consolidation. It consists of a relational database and two flat files. That's what I want to now put into my data integration as an application and deployment. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually create the application under another folder called Student1. Notice there's very little things in it, just a mapping. So I'm going to go ahead and right mouse click. And this time I'm going to create an application. I'm going to give it the name. I'm going to call this App Consolidate Customer. Hopefully I don't have any typos there. Consolidate Customer. And I'm going to go to Next. And at this point, what I could do is go ahead and add the object that I want. And what is it that I want? I want the SQL Data Service Customer Consolidation. That's all I want. Click OK. And I am go going ahead and I am done. I could add other applications here if I wanted to later on. But at this moment, that's the only object that I want in here. And I'm done. I'm pretty much done. What I want to do now is show you just the overview and the advanced. Notice all we have is the general and the mapping, the name of the application, the date time, anything else that might be relevant for this. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that everything is saved. So I will close that out. And now all I need is one more step. I'm actually going to go ahead and deploy it. But before I deploy it, let me bring up the administrator console and I'm sure that I've timed out, so let me log back in. And you do have to sort of know what is available for you in terms of which data integration service is available for you as a developer to deploy your SQL data service onto. So your administrator might tell you what's available. In this case, I know that what I have is under my folder IDWS dev, I should, I should see a metadata, metadata repository and the DIS that I'm using. And you can see that the DIS is up and running. And if I look at, if I select it, if I select the data integration service, notice that what I can have is the applications tab. There are no applications. Let me go ahead and deploy this. And now in a moment, you'll see that it will appear there. So I will go back to developer and all I have to do is now is deploy my application. I want to deploy it to a service. So I need to browse, connect to the Informatica domain, and then decide which data integration service I have. Well, in my case, in my environment, I have two. But a few moments ago, when, when we went to the admin console, uh, I showed you that the IDWS one is the one that we want. And all I have to do is click Finish. And you'll see that it says Deploying. And notice where it says as Add. It is adding it. If I wanted to update this, then it would say Update. So we look at the errors, if any. Nope, very good. It tells us that it has been deployed to the DIS on the domain of the Informatica domain. And we click OK. I will then go ahead and minimize the Informatica developer and bring up the administrator console. I will go ahead and refresh just to make sure that 
I get the latest view. And notice here it is, the application Consolidate Customer, it is running. And at this moment, if I drilled in, you'll be able to see what constitutes this data service. As I said, it was a relational table and two flat files. And I'm done. This is actually a real SQL uh, data service that's now deployed. Now what? Who can use this? Well, in the part three of the demo, what I will show you is how a third party uh, utility like Squirrel or Microsoft Excel could actually come and query against this data service. So thank you very much and stick around for part three.